The unexpected and significant dimming periods of Betelgeuse in late 2019 and early 2020 has puzzled astronomers around the world. Some believed that it signaled the star's upcoming explosion, but then the dimming abruptly stopped. Thanks to observations by NASA's Hubble telescope, we now know that the dimming periods were most likely caused by the ejection and cooling of dense hot gases, and that the star may be going through another dimming period, about a year earlier than expected. This large amount of dense hot gas moving outwards through Betelgeuse's extended atmosphere might have cooled and formed a dust cloud that partially blocked the star's light as seen from Earth. The gas was moving at 200,000 miles per hour. By February 2020, the star had lost more than two-thirds of its brilliance, a dimming visible even to the naked eye. This spectral plot is based on Hubble Space Telescope observations from March 2019 to February 2020. Another surprise for scientists was that Hubble revealed that the detected plasma was not ejected from the star's rotational poles as predicted by stellar models. These observations suggest that material can be driven off from any part of the star's surface. Based on data from Hubble, Betelgeuse is losing mass at a rate of 30 million times higher than the Sun. However, recent activity resulted in a loss of roughly two times the normal amount of material from the southern hemisphere alone. While all stars lose material, no one knows how this happens. Betelgeuse is a variable star, but its rising and falling in brightness aren't noticeable to casual observers. The red supergiant typically goes through brightness cycles, lasting around 420 days. But since the previous minimum happened in February 2020, this new dimming is over a year early. Betelgeuse is about 700 times bigger than our sun, and if you were to replace it with our sun, it would completely swallow the asteroid belt. The star is coming to the end of its life cycle, sometime in the next 100,000 years. Scientists note further observations will be undertaken in late August, when the star returns to the night sky and can be seen by telescopes again. The new study was published in the Astrophysical Journal, for which you can find the link in the description below.